Let's check these new ones out, shall we? Here we go, look at that. Our first electric tram line. I like it. Cool. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 with me, Spacefish, right here in Henry's General Store. Just look at this city. Isn't this awesome? I mean, it's probably more like a village, but... Like, just thinking... That these graphic details are possible right now. At like... This size of a map. And this type of game. And this pretty small of a development studio, I think. Like, I don't think this is like a super huge company that's actually behind Transport Fever 2. As far as I recall. Like, if I recall properly. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's a rather small development studio. And just look at what they've built. I love it. There's people strolling the streets all over the place. Look at Stanley. Hey Stanley, how are you doing mate? All fine and dandy, yeah? Like, look at this. We've got Maya over there, Zara over there, Lewis over there. Isn't this great? It's just, I, I, I love this game, guys. And, um, yeah, that, that's probably also why I'm recording it again. When, like, I've already got three recordings on Transport Fever made, and I would probably need to record other games, but I just love this one so much. Nice, so, uh, you know what, guys? I'm gonna record another episode, because why not? I, uh... I don't know. I think fun is really, really a very important component in these videos that I make, and probably also very feelable by you guys. So, I always kind of like to prioritize what I have the most fun doing, and I don't know, what do I say? Transport Fever 2 is just way up there. Okay, so let me get this to triple speed again, and let's have a little lag there and another little lag there. This is actually, like, even the fact that I'm having lags, well, yeah, this is an autosave, right? But, like, I don't know why. Like, I really don't. Uh, my current GPU is not like, it's not like incredible, but it's pretty decent. <clears throat> like the way that I did it for my GPU for my new PC is pretty much, I just, um, well I got an intermediate solution, right? I got something that's somewhat decent, but not incredibly good, so like somewhat good bang for buck. That works for now, and then uh, when Nvidia releases their new GPU lineup later this year, hopefully, uh, that's when I'm gonna get like a total super new incredibly beefy GPU on top of that one. So uh, Bear with me here, but I don't know It's doing pretty fine overall having a few lags here and there, but overall It's pretty fine and here goes our G13 if that's what it's called Just this little tiny train still delivering way too much food to Dolly Dale. Well, maybe not uh, yeah, because we're not producing enough, probably. Uh, probably, rather. Um, speaking of which... Like, this train's just too much overkill. Like, this is not too bad, I guess. But, uh... Yeah, you know. Got 20 there. This train can... This one can take on 20. Okay, so that's... It's pretty decent. Um, we're producing enough for this turn, we're not just, we're just not producing enough for Dolly Dale. That said, Dolly Dale is starting to grow pretty nicely because we're delivering food and I think what we'll start to do next is we will actually get some public transport going in Dolly Dale. Now, um, it's not a small city. It's actually not got any pollution penalties just yet, so I want to kind of keep that low, I think. So, what we're probably going to do... Now, I actually got to start amassing money to expand the streets in other towns, too. I I kind of want to see. Huh? Is this... Yeah, upgrades. So... Ah, right. Oh, God. This this would be so expensive, though. Like, ooh, We need a lot of money for that. But what I definitely want to do is upgrade this street to a medium one. This one, too. And this one, too. Oh, wow. That was a million right there, wasn't it? Oh, come on. 
Okay. Well, I think we can live with this one being a little smaller. I just kind of want to... Kind of want to have some space going around the outside. No, I don't really know why. I skipped out on the tram track, but we can fix that. So I think we will definitely do a tram here. Because, uh, well, as I said, I want to kind of keep the pollution down somewhat. So... Let's do it up until there, I think. Then, like, sort of... Ah, uh, it's pretty annoying. Let, let's actually let's adjust the street here for a sec. I think we will get this one out till here and just remove that one building. Is that straight? Looks like it. Cool. So, um, doing it just like that. And then let's get back to upgrading. Some more tram tracks right there. And just like that. And that's that. Cool. Now, question would be where we want the depot at. Could probably stuff it up there. I think that's not a bad place, is it? So, get a tram depot going. Get this thing turning. What's that construction right there? Oh, um. Huh, okay, now it's gone. I don't know. That looked a bit weird, but alright. It is done, and there's a new vehicle. Frontenac. Cool. Uh, I really want to get into I really want to get into boats as well. Got to take care of that. So we will go and get this steam thingy again. We will get like five, I think, maybe for the size of the city. Let's start with five and see how that works. I am gonna need some stops, so let's do that. We've got one that covers the train station, which is nice. Place another one over there. We can place another one over there. And we kind of want to go around the outside. That kind of reminded me of an Eminem song, I think. But, alright. Um, so, a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 5 and a 6. And this little city was called Darley Dale Tram. Perfect. So let's take all of these and assign them to the Darley Dale Tram line. Cool. Here we go, nice. So that's some public transport for Darleydale. Um, Colburn is covered, which is good. We should also probably start delivering food to Blackburn eventually, which I just actually noticed. Ah, oh, it's gonna be kinda annoying again. I can probably just build a tunnel under this again, just as I did in campaign mode. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Uh, my voice is kinda like, uh, I don't know. Kinda getting a little bit of a itch in my throat. I hope I'm not turning sick, but let's see. Uh, one way or another. Could probably just get a tunnel like somewhere below here or something and make it come up and have a train station. Um, like this is pretty far away, so I don't think it's eligible for truck delivery, at least not just yet. I don't think uh, it's a good idea right now. So, well, let me... Whoa! No, that's not much. It's just 58 right here. Actually, it's a very little, to be honest. Why is this train that empty still? I guess production's still just ramping up here. This train's only got 60, and there's already 70. Okay. I guess they're just ramping up, like, overall production and transport and everything. Did we adjust for the frequency? Grain staple for Grain Blackburn. 106. Wait, what? 167, 111. Oh, I think because this one's still at 60, but why is this 167? Didn't we have that at 200? Blackburn Darley Dale, 167. Huh. Okay. I thought we had that train at 200. That's interesting. Maybe we should kind of expand that one a bit then. Like, I don't want to make it too slow, you know, but... If it's too short, it's too short. Um, that's what she said. But, uh... You know... If we get it up to like 180 capacity or something, we're still at poor. And this one, we're still at poor. Not really even slowing it down much. Let's try that then. Oh my god, this train is so long. 
it's actually pretty incredible. I think this one's still a bit longer though, but probably not long enough to be honest. I think other than this we will probably have to wait for train upgrades. So we could actually attach all these, but I would kind of like to focus my attention on other things with you guys right now, because a while ago we've built this little route up here, right? So I think we can probably one, see if we can optimize this and then to see if we can kind of expand on that and uh, actually sell that oil somewhere to produce fuel. So let me check this out. We've got a frequency of 294. This produces 400 though. Okay. Let's firstly manage the vehicle then. That's the newest uh, proper train we have, right? This one I think we will skip because as you guys can see here, while well, it's got a little more power, it's got less tractive effort. It's uh, well, it's got one point less in emissions, so basically nothing. And uh, well, it's like 10 kilometers an hour slower as well, at a higher price, higher maintenance cost. Yeah, I don't see any reason for that. Now um, let's edit this thing though, because I think what we'll pretty much do is we'll just attach another few cards to it and uh, see how that increases the frequency. And kind of just uh, work our way. Yeah, 353? We will just kind of work our way to 400. And then just leave it there. That should be pretty fine. And then, uh, well, that's fine. Uh, 14 over, like, I don't really mind that. It's perfectly fine. Cool. So I've got that line optimized. Now, as I said with you guys last episode as well, I would kind of like to optimize other lines too. This one especially is like, wow, we're producing 400 here right now. And well, it's only shipping 200 and I'm unsure it's actually going to be enough. Um, yeah, slightly, slightly below what's possible here. So I'm going to make this thing a little longer because I'm, I'm, I don't want to overdo it, you know, because uh, Neutram also going to have to check that out, but I don't want to overdo it. Because I know there's a lot of an incline on the way there. So... Putting too many carts on here will be an issue. But like... As long as we don't get it below mediocre... I think we should still be getting increases in frequency. So that's the goal. We will pretty much just increase this... Until it goes... Well, I mean we could probably just keep it at that. Oh, no, 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 Okay, so mediocre does not mean... Okay, I, I actually thought the way that the statuses down there work was as low as, uh, as soon as it drops to poor. We don't have enough power for the incline anymore, but this, okay, this seems to about be about the maximum. Let's modify it like that then. So we're at 27, so we're going to attach another 5 to this one as well. Cool. Let's see how that affects the frequency. I'm pretty sure we can still do way better. Yeah, okay. 143, which is not quite as bad, but still. We can do better. Now this thing... Oh, we're actually fully shipping everything that it produces? No, it's actually... Okay, we're not quite fully shipping, but we're doing pretty good. Um, So, I'm pretty sure we can actually wow that amount of money, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I think we can actually, I'm just gonna... No, I'm not gonna pump the money in there just yet, but I think pretty soon we will use that money to expand the streets down here in Basingstoke. And then maybe in uh, Blackburn, no, in Dallydale as well. Ten, oh my god. Ten million bucks, guys. Ten million bucks. What I want to do real quick is just check out that other tram that just recently... Oh, this is electric. Oh, this is nice. I think we'll get that tram, because we can transport the same amount of people at a lot less emissions and one kilometer an hour more, you know, it's it's not really a big difference, but a kilometer an hour is a kilometer an hour. And the most important point is the emissions, because we don't want to slow the growth too much with our public transport uh, endeavors here. So we will take these guys and exchange them with these. There we go, cool. And then we've got another tram line in, uh, well, 
theoretically somewhere in Basingstoke. Um, yeah, so that one. Manage these. Get that one. Sweet. Let's actually, let's check these new ones out, shall we? Here we go, look at that. Our first electric tram line. I like it. Cool. It's looking pretty cool. Look at that passenger just chilling in there. Guy with his hat in the front steering the thing. I like it. Cool, I like it a lot. So we're at 10, uh, we're at 11 million, which is a lot. So we're going to keep this at normal speeds, and I'm just going to start using the money to uh, go ahead and deliver this to here. So, I mean, we could go do a tunnel through here, but honestly, we can probably just go around the outside and save a bit of money, because why not? I mean, while we have a lot of money, the further we advance with technology, the more expensive things will become as well, so like, I don't know. Don't really need to overdo it just yet either. I'm gonna make this thing really long, I think, because we're gonna have a lot of trains coming here. And they are going to be delivering a lot of oil as well, so I wanna keep some capacities there. I'm just gonna build it right there ish, I think, so that way I can kinda still expand this way if I need to, expand that way as well if I need to. And then. No, 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 no. Need streets. Streets, streets, streets. Perfect. I'm just gonna take one of these standard streets and uh huh? What's up here? Oh right, okay, upgrade tool. I need the standard tool. Just gonna pull this out here. And then we're kinda gonna pull that out there. That connects, cool. Let's see. Okay, so these two are attached, that's awesome. Now we are going to need to start building a track and I already noticed the first issue. Let me pause this thing real quick. I think we could potentially... Okay, this is an issue. I didn't want to make this a terminus. But I could kind of make it a terminus without being one, right? I could just have, like, a building right here and then still continue train tracks right there. If that makes sense. I would need... Well, I'm actually wondering, what does this do? Like medium buildings, large buildings, does it make any difference for us which size of building we put there? I really don't know. What I'm thinking, like, right, this is kind of what I want to do, see? Kind of want to get rid of this. And let's just have the new main building up there. And then kind of be like, oh, you know, I'm going to plunk some more tracks down here. I'm going to plunk some more tracks down there. Just get that one through there. And that would work. And I think that's the way that we're going to do it. Um, I'm going to place tracks here first. For the new train. Or trains. Here we'll see about that one. And then just expand this cargo platform out a little further. Just like that. That's awesome. And then we will need a new street that actually attaches to here. Which should be done in no time. If we... Choose the right starting point for our street. Nope. Yep. Okay, cool. And then... Well, I mean, we can keep this. There's no harm in keeping that. Sweet. So, that's our newest train line. Everything else should hopefully still work. Fingers crossed. And then we will start taking care of where to go. So, let me... Check out the terrain lines. Okay, so we kind of need to go up here anyway, so... I mean, the earlier we do that, the less chance that we need a bridge. Oh. Oh, God. No, I don't want any of that. Please, no. This is actually quite the incline, apparently. Which is never good. Because bridges slow us down, so see if we can get away with this. Oh, it looks like we just about can. It's perfect. That is perfect. We will take that. It was a bunch of money, but not too much. Cool. Look at that little incline right here. Let me get rid of that for you guys, so you can actually see what we did. That looks pretty decent. I like it. Cool. Um. What we can probably do is just connect these two 
right here. So we don't need another train depot. And then we will go ahead and go get a new line from here to there. Sweet. So we will call that the oil fuel line. Badal. Badal. Is that the name of a thing? I guess it sort of is. Oh. Close enough. So we're going to need one more train then, which is going to be the price again. Still nothing new. Hopefully soon. We're in 1888. It's really going to be like, I mean, we've got the first tram line. Let's go electric train something. I'm thinking we should hopefully sometime also get some electric trains, right? Looking forward to that. So we're probably going to need another, yeah, another set of tank cars. And I'm going to make this thing pretty long. Nope. Not that long, because we've got a high incline. Okay, just that long. Let's see how well that holds up. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be enough. But at least it's going to be a start, right? We're going to have to see where we go from here. We're probably going to have to wait for another train upgrade. Or we do have another train go back and forth. That's another option. But uh, I think for a start, this is going to be it. So here comes our new train. And I'm just going to place a signal like right, wait, one for you here, and then one for you here. So this train can actually go on the train tracks while that other one is down there. Kind of want to have them move past at some point, so uh, the sooner the better. Cool, there's another one going. Look at this, I like it. Our train network is growing, and I've seen, guys, I've seen so many awesome screenshots online of people doing their incredible networks and whatnot. I'm really looking forward to that. So here's the first bit of refined uh, oil, which is awesome. He's going to take that with him. He's going to go up to get that refined to fuel, and then we will actually have to see where we go from there. Um, I'm actually going to get back down to... Uh, standard speed right here guys just because well we're at eight million bucks again so uh, it's a lot of money but uh, we will take care of uh, getting that fuel transported somewhere as well uh, so we can get some more growth in <coughs> sorry for that and um, well then um, then we gotta get to Darlydale as well. So we'll start with Colbert and then we got Darlydale that needs fuel. And we had some other place that wanted it, I think. Uh, Basingstoke. That's a long way down there. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's the only fuel factory anywhere close. So uh, probably gonna have to connect that up eventually as well. For this time, uh, <clears throat> for the time being, we'll get started with Colburn real quick. We've got a road depot here, which is good. We will, however, need an unload stop, which we will place right here over all the industry is pretty much. That reaches everything, I think. And then we will need a truck station right here for the refined fuel. And I'm kind of like, I would kind of love to have some trucks by now, but I don't think we do, so kind of still going to be limited to horse carriages, guys. <laughs> Same old thing, right? But uh, hopefully that'll That'll be changing soon. I'm really looking forward to getting our first trucks. That would be awesome. Um, do we actually... Huh? Oh, this is probably just in range of all the food places, right? I'm not sure if you could actually just use that unload stop right here, but... Well... Oh, well. So, oh, wait. Or did we place that last episode and I didn't mm, connect that up yet? I'll have to check that out, actually. Um, first things first, fuel line, uh, what was this, Colburn, right? I think we were on Colburn. There's too many cities in this, uh, place, yeah, okay. So, we will go and buy vehicles. Um, this thing can transport fuel. That's interesting. Let's just get, like, I don't want to get too many just to avoid incredible pollution and stuff, so we'll get six for a start. Fuel line, Colburn, let's go. And then this, it seems like we have things going back and, back and forth there, so uh, where are these things delivering food to? I only see that 
place right here. Where where else would they be going here? Line food delivery truck cauldron. Did I not just place that thing? I literally thought I just placed this delivery place. What? Okay. Like, maybe I missed something here, guys. Please let me know down below in the comments. What happened here? Did I already have one and just didn't get a place because there was one already? I don't have any clue what just happened there. I'm totally puzzled. Okay. Well, whatever. That's the way it is. So, over here... Oh. <laughs> so, this thing's kind of cabled up. Whoopsie. Um, guess that's just going to stay that way, whatever. I'm going to actually have to pay attention to what we place, huh? So this thing, yeah, you're going real slow, buddy. But hey, at least he's going. We're probably at like a super low line frequency here as well. Oil, fuel, 156, not that bad. It's not actually that bad, but, oh, let's see. This train's going back and forth as well, which is awesome. And uh, other than that, I think... We've got a bunch covered, right? We've got public transport in Dalydale, Colburn, Basingstoke, and Broadstairs in St. Peter's. Should probably take care of the, uh, developing Stapleford and Blackburn soon as well. And then we have Bedell and East Sam up here. And that's only half. Well, it's not even half of the map covered yet. Like, this map is so incredibly big, guys. I, the one thing that I'm actually missing, I wish was a part of this game right now. Maybe I just missed it in setting up this game? But I would love to see some competition. I think that would actually be pretty neat, no? What do you guys think about that? Let me know down below in the comments. But anyways, I think that's it for this episode. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and leave me a like down below. If you're new to the channel and are looking to stay around for future videos, make sure hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon as well to stay up to date on any upcoming episodes of Transport Fever and other series as well. As always guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!